Hey fatty! This is body fat percentage explained for dummies. And in this video I'm going to explain why body fat percentage don't mean shit when you take it with pinch calipers. Um, muscle mass changes it. Don't fucking worry about it. Just get lean. Get a flat fucking tummy. That's what counts. Okay? So in this video I'm also going to explain how the guy down at the beach that weighs 100 pounds soaking wet with a fucking ripped six pack can actually have a higher body fat percentage than the 300 pound juice head with crazy muscle mass and a fat gut. Let's begin. So, I got two people here. Two people here. They both have the same thickness of fat on their fucking abs, okay? One inch, we're saying, one inch. Obviously, my body fat percentages I'm using are crazy here. It's just for an example. So one inch on both guys, obviously one guy's way bigger than the other guy. Okay, now the inner circle represents muscle on both guys. The very outer circle represents fat, okay? So here's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna show you how basically the body fat percentage is way fucking lower on the big guy and even though you can pinch the same amount of fat on their abs. So total area of this big guy is gonna be pi r squared, which is gonna be pi times two inches plus one inch, because you got one inch for the thickness on the fat. So that's pi times three squared equals 28.26. That's 28.26 for the total area of this big guy. Now you got the muscle. Muscle equals pi r squared again. So you got pi, the muscle's the inner circle, times the radius, which is two inches. Okay, so pi times two squared equals 12.56. Now to figure out the fat, the fat is the outer donut. We got to go the whole area minus the inner area, which is the muscle. Okay, so 28.26, which is the whole area, we figured that out here, minus 12.56 equals 15.7 for the total fat. Okay, now to figure out the fat percentage, you go 15.7, fat percent equals 15.7, divided by 28.26 for the total area. So we got fat divided by total area equals 0.56. 56% body fat for the big guy, we'll say. Okay, that's the example. Now, the little guy, he's also got one inch thickness of fat on his abs, same as the big guy. So looking at these two guys, they look the same for as lean as they are. They look the same leanness. They're the same amount of fat thickness, okay? Understand that. These two fucking guys look like they're equally as lean. They look equal. Little guy. <clears throat> fucking voice is cracking, yelling so fucking loud. <laughs> okay, so total area is pi r squared, which is the same thing. So, But the thing is, the radius of the muscle on the little guy is only one inch versus two inches. So one inch plus one inch for the thickness gives us pi times two squared equals 12.56 for the total area of the little guy. The muscle, pi r squared again, but the muscle on this guy is only one inch versus the two on the big guy. So it's gonna be pi times one squared equals 3.14 for the area of the inner circle. Now the fat is gonna be the big circle minus the inner circle. So 12.56, which is the whole area, minus 3.14, which is the muscle in the middle, equals 9.42 for fat. Now to figure out the fat percentage, we go 9.42 divided by 12.56, because the 12.56 is the area of the total, 9.42 is the area of the outer donut, equals 0.75. 75% body fat versus 56%, and both guys got the same amount of fucking fat on their abs. You understand what I'm saying here? So when you go check body fat, if you got low muscle mass, you might look just as lean as your friend in the abs, but you might be a lower body fat percentage than him or higher, depending on who's got more muscle, okay? Muscle mass means a lot. That being said, if you're a little, if you have no muscle mass, by the time you cut all your fat, you're gonna be little, okay? People think they're bigger than they are. Especially guys, they have big fucking egos, okay? You guys that are six feet or under, if you're fucking a lean 8% body fat and you're 200 pounds and you're over, you're under six feet tall, chances are you're getting to the point where you gotta be on fucking steroids to hit that number.
okay? Example is me. I'm fucking 170. I used to think that I should be 190. I was a fucking fat ass at 190. 170's where I got fucking abs, okay? That's where I should be. If you're a guy and you don't got abs, you're fat, okay? Simple as that. So, and with women, women aren't quite as lean as guys. They got a little more fat on their body naturally, but you should have lines in your tummy and some abs, unless you've had like kids and shit, obviously you're gonna be stretched out. But I'm talking like a young girl. If you don't got fucking some abs, you're fat too. So everyone have a great night. That's Body Fat Percentage Explained and get that fat in you.